Hi, and welcome to Blog Talk. I'm your host, Pastor Kathy Jones, and I am so excited to have with us today Dr. Um, Stevens, David Stevens, and uh, he is the founder of, tell us about yourself. I'm the founder of Christ Center Church of God and also Sound Marriages. Great, great. And that's fantastic. It's so good to have somebody who knows a little something about marriage talking to us on the program today. Um, we're going to be dealing with a book uh, where, as you know, those of you who know, we've been going through the book, Whose Man Is This? And this uh, uh, topic for this short block talk is going to be dealing with chapter number seven, Watch Out, Here Comes a Woman. And uh, Dr. Stevens, one of the things that we want to talk about today is the fact that women have great power in their relationships. Uh, how powerful is a woman? <laughs> I, I don't know if we can chart that. Um, <laughs> I would say pretty powerful. And um, some people say women have the, um, have the power. Okay. <laughs> so they let, they let it uh, stand at that. Right, right. But, you know, I think that women, as we're looking at the chapter, women use their power either productively or non-productive to get a man. So some of the negative things that women have done, they've gone after other women's men. Um, that's power. What kind of power is that that they're using? Well, that's uh, a type of seductive power, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, someone said that if a man really wanted to be attractive, all he had to do was put a ring on his <laughs> finger today. Okay. okay. Uh, that, uh, that grabs uh, a lot of ladies' attention. Of course, that's the wrong intention. Right, right. Attention, rather. Right, right. Well, you know, a lot of times women, they think that if they – give up everything also, that they're able to be able to hold on to a man. Um, when, I guess when the chapter talks about here comes a woman, watch out, that some women are just low down. I'm not, all women are not low down. Now, I don't want my people to think from blog talk that all women are low down, but there are women that will go after your man and they will give up. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> they will give up even their physical uh, body uh, having relationships with the men just in order to get them. Now, um, do, will those kind of relationships last? Well, if uh, a woman wants a man that badly and she'll do anything to get him, uh, well, it's debatable whether they'll <laughs> last or not, but it's certainly not uh, uh, where you want to bl uh, base a lasting godly relationship. Right, right. God has given us boundaries uh, in marriage, and um, Proverbs tells us that, Proverbs 5, 18, it sort of gives us that God has given us boundaries, that every man should have his own woman, a wife, and, and if we're not married, that we should sort of keep ourselves until we get married. Um, sometimes people think that boundaries are because God is mean and, and that he uh, just doesn't want us to have any fun. What do you think about the fact that God has given us boundaries? Well, for every event, there's a consequence. Yeah. And um, a lot of women don't think of the consequences. If you've been able to steal a man from some other woman, what makes you think that that man won't be stolen by another woman from you? Absolutely. Uh, it, what, uh, the world has a saying, what goes around comes around. Of course, that's not biblical, and uh, we try to avoid stuff that's not biblical. But um, that's not the way to get a man. If a man will sell himself cheap and uh, leave his wife for some other woman because okay. of a fling or whatever, uh, he's not worth he's not worth the uh, the getting. Right. So you're, what you're saying is, and if he does it for you, then he'll do it for somebody else. So Absolutely. he might be left hanging with the ticket. Now we've been talking a little bit about. Uh, Dr. Uh, David, we've been talking a little bit about stealing from a married uh, perspective, a woman stealing a, a man from another a woman. But those women who are single, you know, they do things to get men too. And uh, the Bible tells us that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. That's 1 Corinthians, the sixth chapter and the 19th verse. So how would you help a single woman who is uh, maybe possibly have been married before or been intimate before with another, uh, with a man, 